Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different because I'm gonna be talking about my boobs for the first time probably since 2016. So if I have any new viewers who are completely unaware of why I'm making this video or of the choices that I made when I was younger, I will be linking my complete boob job playlist in the description box down below. I've already made so many videos about my breast augmentations. I'm gonna give you a quick up to speed sort of synopsis, but if you wanna know like the details of the doctor, where I had my surgery, cost, experience, blah, 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 make sure you check out my playlist when I got my first surgery in 2015 the reason why I decided to document everything was because there weren't many channels on YouTube or many videos on YouTube about the experience I documented the entire process from start to finish from going to a different doctor who I didn't really like because I just felt like it just wasn't a very good experience and then I ended up finding my plastic surgeon. So I have videos, I have videos that literally cover every aspect of a boob job that I could answer pertaining to my experience. To this day, I still receive so many messages about breast augmentations, especially about my revision. So this video, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Sorry if I start looking sweaty. It's so hot in here, I can't have the windows open because there's a million like tractors going by. That's not even an, an exaggeration. So I'm a little hot, so if I get sweaty, <laughs> That is why. So I'm not gonna go over all the details of my breast augmentation or my experience. Um, if you are interested in that sort of stuff or if you're considering a breast augmentation, I do still stand by those videos and would recommend watching them to get a first-hand look. With that said, this video has been on my mind for a very long time. There's some things that I regret about the way that I documented my breast augmentation journey. And then I also do regret my second boob job and I'm gonna go over that uh, later on in this video. So to give you a brief synopsis about about my history with my breast augmentation. I always knew I was going to get a boob job. My mom had a breast augmentation when I was young. When no boobs came in and I was a double A, I knew that this was something that I wanted to do and I started saving for it when I was probably like 18, 17, 18. And I had my first surgery done in 2015. One thing that I just wanna make very, very clear at the beginning of this video is that I don't, okay, this might be not hard for people to understand, but I just want people to really listen to what I'm saying before or like making statements. That's not why I wanted to make this video. I have my boobs, I like them now. I just felt a little bit of a responsibility to talk about you know, how I feel a few years later. Obviously, I'm a completely different person than I was at 19 compared to now I'm almost 24. I feel like I've really matured the past couple of years and I have some things I wanna say. The one thing that I regret about my series on YouTube is that um, I don't think I really fully express how big of a deal uh, surgery is plastic surgery um, I think I forgot that for me it was a little bit more normalized my mom did have her boobs done like years ago when I was a kid so for me it was never anything taboo um, my parents always knew that I wanted this my parents weren't gonna pay for my breast augmentation it was also important for me to pay for it myself just because I didn't want anyone saying that anyone bought my boobs it was very important for me to be able to say like no this was 100% my decision and both surgeries were 100% my decision you know when I was younger I don't think I really understood the impact that I had and I kind of regret the way that I didn't fully like express that plastic surgery is a big decision it's a big financial you know investment in yourself um, and it's you know it's a big deal to be going under the knife and I think because for me it was so normalized and it's something that I had wanted for years and years it wasn't like a spur-of-the-moment decision I think for me I treated it more casually just because like I said it's something that I had thought about for so so long so at the time it wasn't like oh I need to like set a good example I was just sharing my experience and obviously you can tell from those videos I was very excited and very happy in 2015 I had my first breast augmentation and like I mentioned before I had no boobs before I had like a double a cup I was really really flat and I knew that I wanted to get a boob job so I ended up going to my doctor and I was 19 at the time because there weren't so many videos about first-hand experiences online I think that I kind of was a little bit nervous and I didn't have a lot of like Info or experiences to go off of so for my first surgery. I had a moderate profile with 300 cc's as the morning of surgery It's like what 545 right now mm -hmm. and We are ready. I'm ready for surgery. I have my pills um Magazine, house coat, shorts, flip flop, sock. Okay, so we just got to the hospital. This is my little thing. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Ten yeah, minutes away. Bye. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll wait in the waiting room. Hi guys, so I am officially no longer part of the itty bitty titty committee. So the doctor ended up only going with 300 cc's. I think that it's gonna be perfect. So this is my little IV. But it's so weird having boobs. We'll try. Okay. And the wheelchair. I, I ended up being a full C cup. I had my boobs for about a year. I got it done April 2015. And throughout the year, I was like, oh, I wish I went bigger. I wish I went bigger. It doesn't even look like I got a boob job. I wish I went bigger. And looking back now, um, that was 100% a case of boob greed, which is very, very real, especially when you get uh, cosmetic procedures. That's why so many people like end up with super overfilled lips or overfilled faces. It's because you get it done and then you get used to it. So you're like, I want to add more. And then you forget like what you originally started with. So you end up like looking sometimes a little bit crazy. So boob greed is definitely real. The following year in May of 2016, she decided, she also always knew she wanted to get a boob job just because she didn't have boobs. And she decided to get a surgery as well. I talked to my doctor and he, you know, he didn't encourage me to do another surgery. I just want to make that very clear. The decision to get both surgeries were 100% my decision and my best friend thought I didn't need to do it. My boyfriend thought I didn't need to do it. Like no one thought I needed to do it. I really did it for me. I ended up in May of 2016 going back under the knife and getting, do you hear the truck? So um, after talking with my doctor, he agreed that I had healed enough from my first surgery and that he would be willing to do my second surgery. And I did pay for my second surgery. Not that it really matters, but it's not like he just was like, okay, let's switch out the implant. I had my second breast augmentation and that's what I have now. So I ended up with 450 cc's of a high profile implant. Vlogging. Hey, I had the best experience. Do you have anything you want to say? I had the best like experience. Like woke up, was talking, was like this. Look at the lyrics. To what? No Vaseline. Okay. Oh, y'all said it off. That's the song. Well, I'm glad y'all said it. I'm glad y'all said it off. After that. I don't know. This is the song? One Big House. And play it for her in the car. I love the song. Okay. It's a great song. If you remember my last surgery, I was really tight, like, in this area. But because I think I was already a little bit stretched, like, I'm not super tight. I'm excited to see the boobs. They really don't look like much. Like, they don't look, like, that big, Sierra. You should pick your boobs up in it. Well, they can't really go that far up, Sierra. And my current breast size is a 34D. I'm gonna just tell you, for me, and when I purchase bras, I like to get a 36C. I just like when the cup's a little bit smaller. I don't mind if the band's a little bit bigger. I just like when the cup's a little bit smaller. So for my bra sizes, I do get a 36C bra. So I had my second surgery done, and the recovery was way easier. Again, I have a video um, answering questions with Tony from that time. I wish that I hadn't had the second surgery Surgery, I wish that I would have gotten like 350, 375, 400 cc's high profile the first time. But like I said, I was, you know, kind of, I didn't really know what to expect. There weren't a lot of videos that I could um, watch about the differences and all that information. So that's why I'm actually very proud of my breast augmentation series because I feel like it did provide a lot of information. But at the same time, I wish that I would have stressed how big of a decision it is. I got my second surgery and you know, I had a lot of fun with them at first. They were big, they were fun, 34D, I was happy. 2016, 2017 was also around the time where I moved, you know, I fell into depression, went through some hard times and ended up gaining a lot of weight. And just like natural boobs, if you gain weight, your fake boobs are gonna gain weight also. I don't know how much I weighed because I was scared to weigh myself. When I had gained a lot of weight, my boobs obviously got way, way bigger. All of 2017, 2018, I was planning for a third boob job, which is crazy. Now at the weight I am, I'm actually very happy with the size of my boobs and I feel like if I actually like worked out, um, not only would like they lift because of like the muscles and everything, I would just be tighter and toned, more toned overall. So I actually just started doing yoga and I have some free weights that I like to do. But yeah, so I had gained a lot of weight and my boobs were huge. I honestly don't even know the bra size because I wore a lot of sports bras during that time. I wore a lot of crew neck sweaters. I wasn't really showing anything off. You guys, if you've been with me for a while, you might know that. And last summer I actually went to go see my doctor for a just like a little bit of a follow-up. I also had a little spot that I wanted him to look at. I said, look, these are so big. And when he saw them and he saw when the outfit I was wearing, he said, I think that they're very proportionate for your body. I made a deal with myself. And if I lose weight 
and tone up and I'm still very unhappy with the size of my boobs and I just feel like it's way too big, I'm gonna get a third surgery. And everyone thought I was insane. Everyone thought I was insane, but I just was really like unhappy. I felt huge. I felt like I had the biggest boobs ever. I felt like they ballooned uh, everything just because at that time I was wearing a lot of t-shirts. I was wearing a lot of crew necks, a lot of, you know, I wasn't, I. It was just, you know, I didn't really have a sense of style. I was so unhappy with my body. So that was the deal that I had made myself. I'm very happy that I didn't do anything uh, impulsively. I've never said that on my YouTube channel. My friends and family knew all about that. And everyone said to me the same thing. They said, you're crazy. They don't look too big. I don't know if they were just telling me that or what. That was a big mental struggle for me. I'm not gonna lie. Every time I would look at my body, every time I would look in the mirror, every time I would get into the shower, I just think, oh my gosh, these are so big. And I feel like the more I fixated on it, the more it stressed me out a little bit. So I'm happy to say now at my current size, my current body, I have no plans to get a, another surgery. I get a lot of messages from people saying that they had their first surgery and they wish that they went bigger and that they regret not going bigger and how long did I wait for my revision and would I recommend a revision? I honestly don't have a suggestion for you because I feel like in that moment, moment I was so tunnel vision on getting my second breast augmentation that nothing anyone said to me would have like swayed me in a different way and there's a quote that I read and it basically said like don't regret anything because in the moment that's exactly what you wanted and that's kind of what I keep telling myself I'm like in the moment in 2016 when I was going in and getting anesthesia that's exactly what I wanted I mean but that's easy for me to say now that I'm like happier with my body and overall don't get me wrong I love my boobs I love the way that they can fill things out especially now that I feel like my boobs are at like a good size for my body I just want to say that boobs won't change your life <laughs> they're not gonna make you happy they're not gonna like you'll be happy when you get it done you'll be excited but after the excitement and you know the recovery and everything has worn off and you're just with them you're gonna be back to your life before so if you're not happy with yourself without boobs like boobs really aren't gonna change it now that I feel like I am at a different place in my life and have a little bit of separation I don't regret getting my boobs done well I do regret my second surgery because I, I know I have one red nail I can't get this one off I do regret my second surgery because I think the 300 cc's would have been fine and looking back now I feel like I would have been very happy in the long run with 300 cc's but I guess I got it in my head and I was like I am gonna get it done so what I wish I would have done back in 2015 I wish I would have gotten high profile implants and I like between 350 and 400 cc's. Do I think my boobs are too big now? Not on my current body, but I do know that they have the potential to get really big. So that makes me scared for one day when I do have kids because I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna be so big. But I'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. Um, but at the end of the day, I wish that I just would have um, gotten a larger size during my first surgery. So my advice to ladies who have just gotten their boob job, um, don't compare your photos, don't compare yourself to other results. Everyone's body is different. 400 cc's in me and 400 cc's in a different person are gonna look completely different. Well, depending on the breast shape, how big your boobs were originally, like so much goes into it. So I would recommend, you know, maybe watch my series, <laughs> maybe watch my videos about my experience, but I wouldn't spend so much time comparing your photos to like other results or other people who have gotten their boobs done. It does lead to boob greed and it can be a little bit of a vicious cycle that I was a victim of. That's so dramatic, but you know, I'm able to admit things and I have no problem admitting that, you know, although I'm not unhappy with my boobs and I do like them now, I guess I'll just give you a boob shot so this is these are my boobs now um, I'm not wearing a bra I'm just wearing uh, this top from Target and I do like the size now I like the way it fills out dresses but I think the big thing for me was just when I did gain weight they became so huge I remember probably like 2017 Sierra came to visit and she arrived at the she arrived in my apartment and I went outside to hug her and I remember she she looked at me and she said oh my god your boobs are huge and they were they were really really big um didn't want them that big but I had gained weight everywhere else so obviously my boobs were gonna get um a little bit extra as well I'm gonna go get my favorite bras I hope I answered everything I wanted to let me check and see in my notes I know that this video might be a little bit um you know different or not hard to understand because I know you guys are smart but I know some people will just take the title and run with it and I want to make it very clear that I do regret my second boob job but I don't regret 
boob jobs in general. If I could do it over, I would still get my boob job, but I would get a different size, like I mentioned before. I also got a lot of questions about my favorite bras, so I'm gonna go find, I don't know why I just hit my boob, but I'm gonna go get my favorite bras and I'll be right back. So I got a lot of questions from you guys asking what my favorite bras are, and I've never had an answer because I was never able to find a bra that I actually liked and enjoyed wearing. I actually heard about this brand through another uh, Instagrammer named KG, and it's an Italian brand of lingerie. I go and visit my best friend Sierra in Pennsylvania pretty often, and at the King of Prussia Mall, they have a intimacy boutique, and let me tell you, the experience every single time I go into that store is lovely. All the people who work there have always been so helpful, so sweet, just so friendly. It's a super nice, calming environment, so if you have an intimacy store near you, I would definitely recommend going or ordering online. Every time I go to PA, I buy bras from them because they are the most comfortable, most flattering, comfiest bras there are, and they're not too expensive. Like, they always have a promo, and I would much rather purchase from them over, you know, transphobic Victoria's Secret. I have a few just like regular bras. Um, like I said before, I get my bras in a 36C. I wish I could tell you which type there are, they, these are. Um, this one is an underwire bra. It's actually very, very comfortable, and I like wearing this like under t-shirts, the cup's not too big. I'll link it down below in order, like first bra, second bra, third bra. There's no padding in this, which I really like as well. It's just underwire and the materials, material is so comfy. So I do love this bra. I believe this one is called the Bellissima. And this is another very similar one, but I feel like it's almost like a little bit sexier than this one. This one's like a little bit more I don't know, like full coverage. <laughs> this one is not as much full coverage, um, and I like the way that this fits and the way the straps go. It's really good for tank tops. Very comfortable sides. It almost has the feeling of like uh, seamless underwear. It's very comfortable. This is just the black version of this one. So I have those three, which I really like. They have these in so many colors, and this is like a bra bralette in one. So what I love about this one is it just looks like a bralette like this when it's on, and it has cups inside to support the boobs and like push them up a little bit and then the I don't know if this is like and then the bra just looks so good it doesn't show too much lace it's just very very comfortable I would say this is the perfect happy medium between a bra and a bralette there's support but not too much support there's not a ton of push-up and the thick straps make it very comfortable and overall I have this in like three colors I love this bra it's probably my favorite by them all right guys I hope that this video made some sort of sense I hope that I was able to answer some questions you guys have and maybe put your mind at ease if you are considering a second breast augmentation I think boob greed is very much real and I almost feel a little bit of a responsibility to acknowledge that because I did document my surgery so publicly. You know, a lot has changed since I was 19 years old, 18, 19 years old, 19, 20 years old. I just want to make it clear I do not regret the actual boob job. I am very happy right now with them. But I do think that I did go a little bit too big considering like, you know, body weight and everything like that. But I'm enjoying them for the time being. You're only young once. Thank you guys all so much for watching, for all of your support over the years. I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.